Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. Time to tame pets. Because we are back again with new pets. New update of pets just hit our server. So I will discuss about new pets. This is the second part of my pet guide series, in previous part. I discussed details about pets, so in today's video, I will show new pets with new updates. If you have not watched previous part, check it. Link given in pinned comment. Let's jump in our video. We have got three updates till now. In first update, we got Cave Hyena, Arctic Wolf and Musk Ox. In second update, we got Giant Tapir and Titan Rock. In third update, we got Giant Elk and Snow Leopard. In previous guy, I discussed on first update, in today's video. I will discuss both second and third update. As you can see, we have Cave Hyena, Arctic Wolf and Musk Ox. When a new update comes, you will get the cage net sign in bottom right corner of screen. It is telling that, to capture Giant Tapir, you have to upgrade Musk Ox to level 15. We already know, we can upgrade any pet, by feeding pet food. The biggest source of pet food is adventure. Send your pet to adventure, you will get pet food from loot box. Now, we will upgrade musk ox to level 15. Click on upgrade to feed. Musk ox is upgraded. Now we can capture giant tapir. Find giant tapir on map. After that click on net sign. See, our pet caravan has taken the giant tapir. Giant tapir is in cage. Now here comes the big difference. Between first and second update. This giant tapir has quite the temper. And looks hungry. Before you try to ride it, you might want to calm it down with some food. Stay back and toss the food from a distance. Timing is key. Once the giant tapir gets the food, its friendship will increase. Once its friendship reaches 100%, you've successfully tamed it by feeding. Now's the perfect moment to feed it. Nicely done! Keep it up and feed it until it's full. In first update, we could tame when Natalia ride the pet. But from second update, we have to feed the pet before riding. When the yellow circle meets the green circle, you have to click on screen. For every pet, you will get to chance to feed each day. Look carefully when you should click on screen. Now, it is full. Great job! It's full and much less aggressive. Let's move on to the next step of taming. After feeding done, you have to tell Natalia to ride on it. This is same like previous update. Click on left and right arrow frequently, so Natalia can make her balance. If Natalia is going right side, press the left arrow. If Natalia is going left side, press the right arrow. It is not fully tamed, but we cannot ride it more in this chance. We will get another chance, so we have to ride on it. Rapport is 100%, so it is tame. Our new pet. Giant Tapir. In the similar way, we will capture the Titan Rock. To capture Titan Rock, we have to upgrade Giant Tapir to level 15. Let's upgrade Giant Tapir.
We already know, when our pet reach level 10, we get new pet skill. Pet skill of giant tapir is natural intuition. It gives extra pet food. I am coming to that point soon. Giant tapir is now in level 15. So we can go for Titan Rock. This is same for all pets. From second update, we have to feed all pets. Before Natalia rides it for taming. After feeding and riding done, Titan Rock will be tamed. Giant Tapir and Titan Rock both are rare class pets. Each time, our pet completes 10 levels. We have to do advancement, so we can continue upgrading for next 10 levels. Skill of Titan Rock is called Armor Rift. This skill can reduce enemy health. In level 1, this skill can reduce enemy health by 1.5%. After activating this skill, its effect will stay for next 2 hours. This is the first combat skill of pet. All previous skills were development skills. This skill can be extremely useful for Fortress, Facility, Frostfire, Foundry Battle, this was the second update of pet. Now, I will discuss the third update of pet. Each update comes in almost 60 days. This number can vary server to server. Let's check what pet we are getting now. When the cage sign is available, it indicates new pet has come. The new pet is giant elk. We have captured it. Just like second update, we have to feed pet after capturing. The simple rule is, click on screen. When yellow circle overlap green circle. After feeding down, we will tell Natalia to ride it for taming. Let's tame it. This is first epic class pet. Of course, Epic class pet is more powerful than rare class. Before continuing to next pet, I want to show something about pet advancement. In previous guy, I showed only taming manual. After that in many video, I told energizing potion and strengthening serum. Today, you will see the use of strengthening serum. Before that, let's check the source of strengthening serum. In arena shop, you will get both energizing potion and strengthening serum. Also, in the Lions Championship Shop, you will get both Energizing Potion and Strengthening Serum. You have to keep collecting them whenever they are available in shop, because these items are very rare at the same time. They are useful. Even if you don't get the option to use these items, you have to buy them from shop. These items are used in pet advancement. As you can see, I have one less Strengthening Serum so I cannot show the advancement. In the previous guy, I showed what is refinement. Today I will show when you should use refinement. Refinement is used to increase the bonus stat of infantry, lancer, marksman, by providing lethality and health. You should not do refinement whenever you want. We need common wild mark and advanced wild mark for refinement. We should always save common wild mark and advanced wild mark. We have to use them only when any big event is going on. Currently, SVS preparation phase is going on. 
If we do refinement now, we will get huge points for event. SVS comes in every four weeks. If you want a huge point in SVS, collect advancement and refinement item for four weeks. Shops are available all times, collect currency and use the shop. Advanced Wildmark is available in both Arena Shop and Alliance Championship Shop. I have made a guide video on shop, if you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. Now, we will do some advancement to increase point in SBS. See? Our point has been increased in SVS. This is how we can use our pets to complete. Preparation phase task of SVS. I have already made a detailed guide on SVS. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. Let me show another example of upgrade. With each upgrade, our troop attack and defense increase. See? We have upgraded till level 50. Now we have to do advancement for further upgrade. Let's check our last pet. To capture Snow Leopard, we have to upgrade Giant Elk to level 15. Remember, our pet skill is unlocked. When we do advancement, after upgrading to level 10, for each 10 levels pet upgrade, our pet skill is increased by one level. We have upgraded to level 15. Now we can capture Snow Leopard. We have captured Snow Leopard. Now in similar way, we have to feed. After that Natalia will ride and we can tame the pet. We have tamed Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard is the second epic class pet. I hope we will get mythic class pet in future. Let's upgrade the pet to check skill. This skill is called Lightning Raid. This is the second combat skill. Let's do some refinement. Currently, my point is for 192,500. I will do some refinement to show how refinement gives point. Remember, your power can increase or decrease both. When you do refinement, Now, my point is 525,950. This is how you can use refinement to complete SBS task. Now, I will give brief description about all skills of all pets. First we have Builder's Aid of Cave Hyena. This is a development skill, it increases building upgrade speed. Its maximum level is 5 and max level stat is 15% construction speed. Next, we have Arctic Embrace of Arctic Wolf. This is also a development skill. Arctic Embrace gives Chief Stamina. This skill can be upgraded to level 6, max level stat is 60 Chief Stamina. See? I have got Chief Stamina for using this skill. Next, we have Burden Bearer of Musk Ox. This is also development skill. When we use this skill and send troops to gathering, our gathering instantly completes. This skill can be upgraded to level 6. Max level stat is 15 hours cooldown. This skill can be applied for only one gathering tile. Next, we have Natural Intuition of Giant Tapir. This is development skill. When we use this skill, we get some pet food. This skill can be upgraded to level 7. 
Max level stat is 500 pet food. Let's see how much pet food we can get now. This skill is very important, it is constant supply of pet food. Next, we have Armor Rift of Titan Rock. This is a combat skill. When we use this skill, our enemy health is reduced for next 2 hours. This skill can be upgraded to level 7. Max level stat is 5% enemy health reduction. Don't forget to use it when you are going for Frostfire and Foundry Battle. Next, we have Mystical Finding of Giant Elk. This is a development skill. When we use this skill, we get a rare item. This skill can be upgraded to level 8. Max level stat is 23 hours cooldown. See, I get a rare item. This skill can be very useful. Next, we have Lightning Raid of Snow Leopard. This is a combat skill. When we use this skill, our marching speed increases and enemy troops lethality decreases for 2 hours. This skill can be upgraded to level 8. Max level stat is 30% marching speed, increase and 5% enemy troops lethality reduction. Both combat skills are useful in short time battle like Frostfire Mine and Foundry Battle. You can also use these skills in Alliance Championship before deploying your troops in lane. I will discuss Alliance Championship someday in future. Now, I am showing how to use Burden Bearer of Musk Ox. Remember, before sending troops to gathering, you have to activate the skill. See, our gathering has been instantly completed. This is how you can upgrade all pets and use their skill for development and combat. I am not showing much details on advancement, refinement and adventure because I have already discussed them in previous guide. For energizing potion, strengthening serum, watch my guide on shop and tundra trading station. Both link given in pinned comment. Capture beast, tame them, make pet, feed them, strengthen them and repeat. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.